Hi, it's me again, Bonnie Kane. I just did the Afternoon Noise No Apology show, and somebody asked me, what is going on here? So, you know I have the flute and the saxophone, right? Flute, whoops, flute, there it is. Saxophone, tenor saxophone, there it is. And these both have microphones in and attached to them. All right. And then, I'm trying not to get all tangled up here too much. Uh, well, for the flute and for the saxophone, we have uh, phantom power. And then they both go in through a joint plug like that. Here's for the saxophone, there's the flute. And they're going into one of these uh, boss pitch shifter delays. Easily found at your guitar store online. Nothing really secret about this little box. Okay, now we get to the secrets. I'm an electroharmonics fan from the very beginning. And so I have the electroharmonics epitome. There you go. And this is a uh, three effect kind of thing that has. Uh, Octavers and it has, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, all kinds of chorus and you know, do various delays, etc., and so forth. And the key to the whole operation is my beloved Electroharmonic 16 second digital delay. There it is. This is one of the original ones from the late 70s, early 80s. I got it when I was in college. My roommate intercepted it, opened the box first. I could have killed him, but I didn't kill him. Didn't kill him. But boy, I was really mad. Anyway, I've been using that, and uh, that in itself is a very special box because they don't make the chips anymore. So enjoy these shows with this box as I do because when it goes, it will kind of go. And then it, the whole thing comes out, and it's going to an MXR distortion box. Again, common guitar player kind of effect. You can find it online. You can find it anywhere, really. Uh, this is one of the old heavy ones. This thing weighs a ton, right? Break a window with this. And then i uh, got... volume pedal, and which one am I using today? I don't know, I can't even read it. But anyway, a volume pedal. And then, uh, I have found, through trial and error, that the Fender amplifiers are the best for me. Now, when you're working with uh, acoustic instruments, not all amplifiers are equal, and not all of them will give you uh, what you want, the sound that you want. So any of you acoustic people who are thinking about doing this kind of electroacoustic electro thing, you got to test the amplifiers. That's it. In fact, my theory on effects is you got to test the effects. They work for you or they don't work for you. And that's as simple as it is. Because there are other horn players, flute players that, you know, swear by this thing, swear by that thing. And when I tried them out, I was like, eh, it didn't make sense to me. So it's a real individual kind of thing. Anyway, so I'm a Fender amplifier person. Right here is my sidekick. And uh, it's a solid state amp. I also have a Fender Blues Junior, which is a tube amp. I use that a lot for recording. And uh, I love that sound too. Maybe I'll switch them up for, you know, one of the shows here online. Anyway, so that's what's going on. Uh, I love my boxes. I consider each one of them an instrument. They have endless depth and variation. And part of what I love about this little system is it really doesn't do the same thing twice. It's not predictable. It's something you work with. So it's it feels alive. It's like playing, it's really like playing with a bunch of other musicians. You can, can't really predict them, you know. Uh, doesn't take the place of it. It's just an addition to the 
the thing. So that's what's going on here, and uh, I hope that's been very informative to you uh, on the transcend, uh, Transcendent Winds program. I'm using five amplifiers, but we'll get into that on Transcendent Winds. Okay, see you.